Are you seeing this when you connect a Blackmagic device to your AJA UTAP SDI? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Hello, I'm Stephen Ballast. Welcome to my channel where I explore worship technology solutions. This is just a quick video for people who are using the AJA UTAP SDI version and are seeing color bars or sometimes these green and pink lines on half the screen. This only applies to the SDI version. It doesn't affect the HDMI version. I've seen this happen when the SDI output from an ATEM is connected to the UTAP, or I've also seen it when the Blackmagic HDMI to SDI microconverter is feeding the UTAP. The issue is that the Blackmagic equipment is defaulting to a level B SDI signal, and it needs to output a level A signal to be compatible with the UTAP. Level A and B refer to how a 3G SDI signal is mapped to a single SDI line, but that's way more than you need to know. The good news is that it turns out to be pretty easy to fix. If you're using an ATEM switcher, in the settings menu go to the general tab, and under the video standard is a toggle setting for set 3G SDI output 2. You need to set that to level A, and you should now be getting a proper signal out of your ATEM into the UTAP. If you are using a converter, it's a little more complicated. You need to go to the Blackmagic support website and download the converter utility update and install that program. Then when you launch the converter setup program and connect your converter to the computer through its USB power port, you'll be able to see its settings. And again, switch its output to level A, click save, and you can now disconnect the converter from your computer reconnect it to its normal power, and it should give you the proper output. So this was just a quick video to help people who have been experiencing this problem. It's a pretty easy fix once you know how to deal with it, but I know some people were getting pretty frustrated because it's not real obvious what's causing it, and it looks like the UTAP is defective. Hey, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments, or you can always hop on over to my Facebook page and ask questions there. Until next time, bye.